I'm doing a 72 hour fast to show members of my community that it can be done. This time I'm wearing a glucose monitor when I started training. My blood sugar was 7.7 .7 when I finished training. Eddie states that his fasting blood glucose was 7.7 .7 or 158 milligrams per deciliter. And after training, it was 7.8. Very importantly, a normal fasting blood glucose is less than 100 milligrams per deciliter. And over 126 is classified as diabetes. Meaning with his fasting blood glucose, Eddie is far higher than even the diabetic range of fasting blood glucose. The reason for this is quite simple. Eddie is recommending a very high fat, especially saturated fat, low carbohydrate diet, including meals rich in eggs, butter, avocado, cheese, and higher saturated fat animal products such as red meat. There's absolutely nothing inherently wrong with these products. They can be extremely nutrient dense and a very important part of a diet. However, there is overwhelming data indicating that a low carbohydrate, high fat diet increases almost all indices of insulin resistance, probably the most significant underlying driver of diabetes. And replacing unsaturated fats concentrated in plant products and seafood with the saturated fats found more abundantly in many of the foods Eddie is consuming and recommending on a regular basis has a deleterious effect on insulin sensitivity, regardless of changes in abdominal or whole body fat volume. The big issue with this is Eddie is recommending this type of dietary strategy for both type 1 and type 2 diabetics. Over the short term, due to their impaired biological response to insulin or lack of insulin production, omitting carbohydrates may temporarily improve their symptoms of large fluctuations in blood glucose concentrations. However, over the long run, there is substantial evidence to indicate that their insulin sensitivity and blood glucose control will gradually get worse. And Eddie's numbers, an individual who has been following his dietary recommendations for multiple years, are simply a demonstration of the long-term deleterious consequences. Even though Eddie is extremely lean and extremely healthy looking. In essence, a misunderstanding of the physiological drivers of insulin resistance. Motivating the recommendation to omit all carbohydrates and radically increase fat consumption, especially in the form of saturated fat, in the long run appears to have deleterious consequences for insulin sensitivity, which is demonstrated by this extremely alarming fasting blood glucose.